The Ballista is without tabbed one of the most legendary upgrades for your ship in the new Pirates of Balerion update for War Tales. It's not that easy to unlock though, so in this guide I'm going to share everything you need to know to get your hands on the Ballista blueprint and how exactly it works, how you can slow down enemy ships or even better, use it to its full potential to knock enemies into the water take them out from afar and also pretty important how you can find all the required materials to craft it, which I will all cover in today's guide. So without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, so first off, I quickly want to say that this video was planned to release a lot sooner than today, as unfortunately I ran into a PC crash which destroyed my entire build, including my 3090 and all my recordings for the Balerian update. I was lucky enough to recover some footage which I used for my primary guides a couple weeks ago, but here we are once again after not the second but the third attempt to record this specific video, as my previous recording also went corrupt, so it would be very much appreciated if you can take one second of your time to hit that like button as I spent a lot of work on this video. And of course, share your thoughts in the comments down below about the update. I would love to hear what you think about the new pirate DLC. I think it's amazing. All right, so the first thing you want to do is make your way to Perbost Islands and find a town in the very center of it called Perbost. So this is basically where you want to be to start the quest line for the Ballista Blueprints. If we zoom out a little bit, exactly south of Tiltron County, where you can find a mission called Missing Person. If we quickly check out the tavern, this is where I picked it up from um, Emron the Deceitful. He will talk about a few leads, which we can pick up from guard ships. I'm also going to quickly talk to the informant and pick up this stuff right here because I don't like it when she's shining purple, but you will basically unlock this mission shortly after you've visited the fan with, of course, also the bounty board with the Lords of the Sea progress. Very important, if you follow this guide while you're basically playing the game yourself, you want to pick up 15 locks or 15 woods to complete a certain objective during the mission. You're going to thank me later for this, but be sure to have it in your inventory at the ready. All right, so after we've picked up the quest, we're going to get to our boat, as we're going to have to do a little bit of sailing to get to every single guard ship location. Very important, I think you first want to focus on the ship to the very south of Perbost Island, as the wind heavily blows to the east right here, and then to the northeast. So I think visiting this one first, then take this one in the sequence, and finally the one on the island in the northeast will be the best sequence. Look at that, this is already the second ship in line, for which we have to deal with a couple pirates. If you are new to the wind mechanics and want to know how you can get the most out of sailing, travel from A to B as efficient as possible, be sure to check out my guide in the top right of the screen in which I share everything you need to know about your ship, ship upgrades, wind direction, fishing and so much more. Alright, so we just arrived at the first guard ship while well, my troop is already exhausted from that small trip. I don't know guys, maybe it's just me, but I feel like you get exhausted super fast. Hit that fatigue bar in no time when sailing. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. It definitely feels a lot more interrupting, let's say, in comparison with when you are traveling on foot. Anyways, here we are, the first guard ship on the map in the south, pretty close to this island as well, which we're going to talk to first. Dia Hackett's daughter, what do you care about her? So, she's not going to give us any information. What you could do in this case is attack them. I'm not going to say anything about it, but you can also persuade, which would be the most obvious choice, as it's only going to cost you 100 influence, and you can instantly move on to the next guard ship. So I'm just going to do that right now. The wind direction should change any moment. There we go. Now we can go full speed ahead, and whoa, that was really close. But this should bring us to the second ship in no time. And it seems like I also had a little rollback with my ship upgrades, as right now we don't have any of those applied. So, the second guard ship. This lady, Yasir, doesn't have any time for questions. She wants us to help her with the pirates. Deal with the freebooters. Wow, I seriously didn't expect her to go down this fast, but ooh, 
This is buggy, bro. What the hell happened right here? These guys are literally standing on top of each other right now. This is buggy stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Can I shoot the bad guy? Okay, GG. I can finish combat. Wow, that looked pretty buggy. But uh, let's loot all the loot and continue our quest. Wow, all that trouble for nothing. No information at all. That's not uh, very nice, Lady Guards. Anyways, we have one more destination. I quickly want to say that bug, which just popped up, is like literally the first one I've seen in a long time. And I also had a little bit of stuttering issues at the very beginning of the DLC release, while right now the game feels super fluent. I'm recording in 4K. I have no issues at all. It feels super smooth. So I think we owe a thank you to Shira Games for constantly providing us with performance improvements to give us the best experience possible for War Tales. I'm going to quickly do a little bit of resting before we go to our final stop, which you can find exactly right here. And oh, we've got another guard after us. But um, this is the final interrogate the guardship objective. So what do you want? I don't have time to talk. But Tella is pretty annoyed. I think they basically destroyed their ship against the coast. So this is where your 15 wood comes in, as you're going to have to give it to her to complete this part of the mission. Asura be praised. That's exactly what we need. So now she will tell us where Poor Neath is located on a pretty small island, a sandbar in the southeast of Beleriand. First, though, I'm going to sail away from this ship as quick as possible. And wow, it looks like my sails themselves don't look all too good. We're going to have to visit a port to basically get rid of all the damage. And oh, no, the wind is turning. I can't move at all. This is really bad stuff. The good thing is those guard ships only have nice sails to go zigzag. While square sails are much better with the wind in your back. I cover everything in my full ship upgrade guide at the top right of the screen once again. But let's quickly check out the dock and do some upgrades right here. So it's going to be important we keep that wind in our backs, ladies and gentlemen. And also stay away from our adversary right here, as otherwise we are going to be food for the fishies in the ocean. Ouch! That's another hit right there. Oh, we've got a boss ship in front of us, guys. I am not sure if you want to encounter it right now, but this is the location where you can pick it up. So if you're interested in a serious challenge, I think this is the place to be. But um, here we are at Sandbar. Thank God we arrived because, man, our sales really don't look good. Anyways, it's very important that you don't visit this Siren's Nest location before you've interrogated the guard ships as you simply won't be able to do anything right here. I mean, you might be able to take out some of the sirens, which we're going to do right now, but afterwards you can't find the daughter. So you first, so it's practically useless to first visit this place, try to save time by skipping previous objectives. Anyways, we first have to deal with a couple sirens, so let's do exactly that. I'm going to place Ragnar right here so he can counter-attack, take out a couple of these bad guys, and start trimming down the forces. You know what? Maybe we should go in aggressive. There we go. Let's just go ham on this guy's dead. He's dazed, so we can disengage. <laughs> Let's go! They are literally falling like flies right now, so I don't think this is going to last for very long. Wow, look at Johnny back at it again with his gangster moves. So, after you've taken out the sirens, you will get a recipe for the Traveler's Soup. This is a pretty nice one, as it will give you a bonus for not only influence, but also experience. Plus 20% after an ambush and also restores 14 food during a rest. You're gonna need two mushrooms, one milk, and also three sweet, delicious human remains for it. So, I definitely recommend you to pick these up right here as well. Anyways, once you've entered the nest, it's very important to use your alt or whatever key to basically check out your surroundings as you want to 
inspect this lady because it will give you a free builder blueprint, another book which you can use to further upgrade your ship. You can also talk to this dude to get some salt and seaweed, but um, be sure to also check out the cook pot on the campfire to get a free traveler soup. And then of course, we also have Neath on the island, slightly traumatized by whatever happens. What you wanna do is recruit her so she will follow your troop and this will start a new objective. Now, if we open up the map, you can see that we have to travel back to Perbost Island. It's gonna take a while to get there as our ship sails are torn to pieces, but still we should be able to get there in no time as long as we get the most out of the wind, maximize the efficiency of our sails wind direction basically. Almost there. Wow, <laughs> it goes really slow if we don't have the wind with us. So guys, pro tip, be sure to have your ship repaired at all times and simply prevent taking damage. I don't know, but uh, here we are. Let's dock it and get to per bust. So right now, what you want to do in this town is complete that mission missing person by going back to the dry dock tavern and talk to Emrin the deceitful in the corner. So, you found the daughter. Give her to him. <clears throat> she doesn't look too well. Yeah, she was basically traumatized by some sirens, but here we go. We made some progression in the fate of Balerion and also got our hands on that sweet blueprint for the ballista, for which we're going to need two leather, two wooden planks, one metal plate and a hoist. So now you're probably wondering, where do I get my hands on all these materials? That's a good question because these are scattered across Balerion as well. Most importantly, I think most of the components can be found in and around per boss. So first you want to visit the Master Necha's Forge and talk to Master Necha as I think right here you can pick up two blueprints, the first one called the Hoist and the second the Metal Plate, which you can also instantly craft at the forge right here. So let's uh, make two metal plates. Don't think we need that much, but also some hoists. I don't know, let's go with four. And then we also need some wooden planks for which you want to visit the workshop in your camp. Scroll all the way down once again. And this is where you can find the wooden planks and also the hemp burlaps. Wooden planks require waterproof sealants. Also a blueprint which you want to pick up somewhere but not in Perbost itself. So for that, you want to travel to a smaller island southwest of it, where you can find a village called Zaulin. Go to the apothecary, and this is where you can talk to a lady who will give you access to that blueprint. Well, right now, we're going to visit the clinic in this town, go to the crafting station, scroll all the way down, and this is where you will find the sealants. We're going to need some fish oil for this, so let's pick it up from Fana right here. It's even on a discount. GG. So let's make like 11. I think this is going to be perfect as you want to make plenty of these planks. Remember, guys, planks are to repair your ship. You want to have these with you at all times. So we're going to scroll down right here and make the absolute maximum with all the boot and sealants we have, which will give us 22 because you will get two for each craft. So right now we basically have all the ingredients or resources we need. We kind of have to play a Dutch game with the guards as they're still after me. Wow, that's super annoying. But um, thank God we still have some influence still to send them away for now. But, uh, yeah, let's get back to our boat, do some repairs and of course also build the ballista. And Ada Louise and her crew now see that we are at the same level. Seems like she's going to become a little bit more aggressive. I guess that's going to be perfect to showcase the ballista itself. Very important, guys, if you want to make upgrades to your ship, talked about this in my previous video as well, you want to be at a dock, not a shipyard. A dock is very important. If you don't have your ship at a dock, there is a pretty interesting knowledge upgrade which you can pick up from the sailing tab, which is called registration. This is literally calling your Tesla on demand. The ship can be retrieved from a dock for a cost in crowns that depends on the distance. So say I have my ship on the other side of the island, I just click on the dock and then I will pay a certain fee to easily teleport my ship to this location. 
Well, of course, right now we are already there. So we can open up the ship menu by pressing B. And first, of course, we're going to do some repairs. So our ship is 100% again. And now we can install the ballista. So first, we're going to left click to build the equipment. We're going to need one hoist, one metal plate, two wooden planks and two ladder for that. Press OK. And now you also want to left click once again to install the equipment itself. It will say you have placed the ballista and to use it, we have to assign a gunner to it. Before we do so, I quickly want to explain how this works. So with gunners, it really depends on the dexterity or the strength you've built on the characters. With dex characters, you will basically increase the fire rate of the ballista by 20%, while with strength builds, you will increase the range by 20%, which I think is going to be a lot more interesting, as it's gonna make it easier to land shots on enemy ships from afar, while you don't wanna fire those projectiles 24 seven, as they are pretty difficult to get your hands on, and they aren't really meant to take out ships in general. So I would suggest to go with a tanky dude like Lieutenant Maximus. So now we have our ballista equipped. Let's set sail and choose our targets. I mean, we've already chosen the targets, which is going to be Ada Louise. I think she was in the southeast. There we go. So, um, oh, wait, 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 she's already there. She's already there. Okay, next step, guys is to activate your ballista. You want to keybind this. On default, it will be H, but I change this to R for reload, which I use in most of the games. But now we basically get to controls. So continue steering your ship normally and also aim the ballista with left and right, fire with up and change your projectiles with down. Very important, hitting an enemy ship will slow it down and weaken its crew. A projectile's effect can only be applied once to an enemy ship, so there is really not any advantage in shooting an enemy ship multiple times. It will only waste your projectiles, which is something you don't want to do. So again, increasing the fire rate of your ship is really not going to make a difference. Range is. So we're going to continue and yeah, make sure that we have the wind in our backs at all times. Rotate our shot, which you can do with left and right, and make sure that we are kind of going zigzag in the perfect direction. Be sure to have the wind in your back, ladies and gentlemen, to make that shot a little bit easier. Okay, so they basically slowed me down, but I also slowed them down. So as you can see, right now their movement is a lot worse in comparison with what it used to be, and the crew also got weakened. So we can sail away from it with ease. Let's do that again on this pirate ship right here. It's very important to know that if you have your ballista menu open, the time in the game will be slowed, which can be both positive and negative. So be sure to click it away if you no longer need to shoot projectiles to basically slow down enemy ships. But uh, you can tell that it's still weakened. So I guess now it is time to deal with Adelwis and her crew. Ah, look at that. Now, as you can see, we have different enemy targets with only half or more values. So that means if you hit your enemies with it, you will basically already eliminate some of that. So the combat is gonna be a little bit easier, but of course not super easy mode, especially on extreme, of course, you shouldn't expect it to become a free win. Anyways, it's still gonna be easy mode, I guess. Wow, I think this is going to be the fastest wind ever on a pirate ship. As Adelwis already moved into the circle of Ragnar. Well, I'm going to knock her out right now. Oh yeah, look at that. Only one HP left. So now all we need to do is basically stand right here. Use our Wrath ability or whatever. Instantly get a duel. Get off my territory. So she's pretty angry and going to attack. You know what? Let's parry that. You couldn't hit me if I were tied to a tree. You know what? Let's uh, do an attack. As this is clearly an insult, so she's gonna regret her actions. Already lose one of those five hearts. Is that all of you've got? I'm gonna taunt that. I mean, every time when they defend, you wanna taunt. Every time when they taunt, you wanna attack. Every time when they attack, you wanna defend. And that will basically be your instant win guide 
Anyways, um, now we can parry her attack. And since we have the upper hand, that's also really nice. We will basically do an attack of opportunity. See, she's going to lose another heart. You can't hit me if I wear a tree. Yeah, well, that's going to be the end of you, lady. So, Adelwis has been defeated and I take her place on the leaderboard. Our stats are still pretty pathetic though, I mean, look at this right here. We have a lot more work to do if we want to brave Kierti, the absolute god of the seas. We do get our hands on some pretty sweet loot. Let's repair all the damages done and heal our compadres. And, ooh, look at that, we found something on Adelwis's body. Wow, this is another beautiful drawing. I mean, this probably has to do something with the shape of the island. So if you find a duck-shaped island, guys, this is where you will find Ada Luis's treasure. Anyways, that's it for today's guide. That's everything you need to know to unlock the legendary Ballista Blueprint. And of course, build it yourself on your ship. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button. You have no idea how much you help out the channel. And of course, other people who are also looking for a guide like this one. I am very curious what you guys think about the new Balerian update. Please do share your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, be welcome on the Discord with thousands of members where we can continue the discussion. If you want to stay the loop with future guides, be sure to subscribe as a lot more is coming your way. Right now, though, it is 4 a.m. out. I want to wish you an amazing day. Catch you in the next video live stream. Take care. Peace.